Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get set up with the new level editor plugin with the example project, as well as just installing the plugin to it. So that way you can basically just get started and kind of get familiar with it. And same thing as you would with my FPS plugin. So anyways, here we have the repository. This is the public repository. It's just a already set up project. All you need to do is if you already know what you're doing, go ahead and just clone it. Otherwise you can hit code and download zip. That's going to be your simplest way. Then you'll be met with this here. So go ahead and open it up or extract it. And I'm going to go ahead and place mine right here. All right, we're going to open that on up. And by default, this is a UE5 project on 5.0. You can change this to 5.1 just as it's just up to you. But we're going to go ahead and attempt to launch it. And you'll say or you'll see that it requires the map editor plugin. So assuming you've already downloaded it, the way you would get this or the way you would set it up is well, at least that I prefer or recommend is setting it up inside your project itself. So we're going to right click, create a new folder, call it plugins, and we're going to move it in there. Okay. And keep in mind, yours may be named differently. I'm recording this before the plugin is actually submitted. All right. So now we should be able to go ahead and launch our project. Alrighty, once everything's up and loaded, we are now inside of the editor itself, and here's the provided example map. So to run through everything, everything inside of content, well, everything inside of the multiplayer level editor folder is basically everything in regards to the example content. So here we have an example character here, and this is kind of just to show you ways that you can use everything. So for example, here's if you're using my movement component, the simple movements, setting your movement mode, placing dragging actors, your copying selection, your pasting, your deleting, your undo, your redo, that kind of stuff. It's all very simple. Basically anything you can think of that you might want to do, heck, for example, undo, you just drag out of the handler and call undo. But I'll dive into more of that later. This video is basically over, but a brief overview. You just press play and you are pretty much set up and good to go. So everything should already be pre-configured, pre-set up to work. You can go ahead and drag in, you know, whatever you want, start moving stuff around, just play with it. But anyways, that is going to be all for this video and everything will be linked in the description. So the repository, as well as a link to the plugin itself, if you're interested. And in the next video, we're going to continue working our way through it and just showing you how to set everything up and use it. So I will see you then.